The start of football season is always exciting, but here at JFK, everyone is downright giddy over this new gridiron. I'm here at the first ever game at the brand new Roy Kidd Stadium built by the Cleveland Browns. It's one of five new turf fields the Browns are building all across the district. We were here for the official dedication ceremony and this home opener versus John Marshall. Check out these highlights and hear from students, staff, and community members about why this kickoff was about much more than football. It feel good, it feel brand new. We ain't never had no fans like this. Fans packed the stands to cheer on their team and cheer for the finished field. District CEO Eric Gordon and the Browns Executive Vice President of Football Operations addressed the crowd during the dedication ceremony. I ended last school year right here at JFK when we shoveled dirt out of the old field to make way for these new fields. And today we're making it official. This is one of three fields installed this summer completely donated by your Cleveland Browns for our for us, being a part of Cleveland and being the Cleveland Browns comes with a responsibility. So this investment is a reflection on our commitment to that responsibility. We're proud of the investment that we've made here. Uh, glad to see these young men out here getting great use of a great facility. The facility, including a new larger scoreboard donated and installed by the Browns, hasn't just helped the football players. It has the whole school motivated and focused on teamwork. It made me want to go ahead and put these cleats on and make a fool out of myself out there. It's wonderful when you see uh, our kids really getting these opportunities to really experience some things that, you know, not a lot of, a lot of schools experience. You know, they, they're playing on a field that's state-of-the-art field, um, and, and that makes them feel a little better about what they're doing for our school. The model's changing at JFK with having three schools in one. Something we've really been trying to put together is we're all one school. So the pursuit of excellence is something that we're all kind of breathing all together. So it's important for us to get together like this and to be able to celebrate such a, a joyous experience like this. Let's just know that though we have different schools within one, we're all united. United and proud to represent JFK's new home field advantage without forgetting about the past. I was just really excited about having a new field that we can call our own, Royal Kid over there. That's our old coach, like our coach coach. And he basically was teaching me before he passed and stuff. So he just mean a lot to all of us. He helped us out in many ways. It also means a lot to former JFK quarterback Justin Willis Sr. The class of 83 grad is now a teacher at the school, but he'll never forget his time on the old grass field with the beloved Coach Kidd. He was uh, not only a coach, he was a mentor. I wish he was here to see it. And um, I, this is going to my third year here at JFK, so I actually got to sit in the stands uh, with Coach Kidd at some of the games before he passed away. And sometimes if I have extra time, I will come out on a break and I'll walk around the track, so I just get a chance to reflect and keep, try to keep myself in shape as well. The field will stay in great shape for years to come, too, thanks to the synthetic turf, which is already paying off. JFK beat John Marshall 36-22, to but some might say this was a win Win for the whole district. It's nice to see alumni say, man, I wish I'd have had that when I was here and kids excited on the field behind me. Thanks to the Cleveland Browns and, Dee and Jimmy Haslam, that's the reason we have this here today. Good to see the, all the young men and the uh, extra, the band, the cheerleaders, everyone on the field having a great time. And we appreciate what the Browns did and the school district is something very positive for the community as a whole. I'm just looking, for, looking forward to a lot of wins. All the Senate League teams will get a chance to play on these brand new fields. Two more dedication ceremonies are planned for this fall, and two more fields will be completed next year by the Browns. Reporting from Roy Kidd Stadium, Shannon Kantner, CMSD-TV.